Do you know that you can sell your lease car back to the dealer you got it from? Hi, what's up everybody? It's Adam, the lease guy here. I have 10 years experience in the auto finance industry. I work for one of the largest car manufacturers in the country. Um, I help people in their lease start new ones, buy the car out, all the options that you have with a lease. I've done it 10,000 times, so I'm here to help you. So today we're gonna to be talking about not turning in your lease. You can actually sell the car right back to the dealer and walk out of the dealership with a check in hand. Wouldn't that be great? So as everybody probably knows right now, the car market is on its head. There's a shortage in chips, so the new car inventory is scarce, so therefore prices are high. That's caused an increase in value in the used car. So all the three-year-old leases are worth a pretty penny. The car you're driving, if you have a three-year-old lease, is probably worth anywhere from seven to 12 grand, more than the residual value on your contract. So you're asking yourself, how do I cash that out? How do I use it? And here, I'm gonna tell you how. So if you have a lease that you don't need and you were just gonna take it back to the dealer and turn it in, and maybe you don't need a new car, who knows? I've talked to some people that are in that very situation and please don't just hand your car back to the dealership. Ask them if they wanna buy it from you. Now these dealers, they're short inventory. So these used cars are where they're making all their money. So they would love, love, love to have your car back. I'm sure your leasing company, your dealership is probably emailing you, calling you, bring us the car, bring us the car. Well, that's because they want it and they will pay you for it. So let's say, you, you're not shopping for, if you were shopping for a new car, right? What I would recommend is you use it as a trade-in, right? That $10,000 of equity in your car, you go to the dealership, you say, I'd like that brand new 2023 you have right there. How much trade equity are you gonna give me as a down payment to lower the price and lower the payment and bring the, the car down to the price you wanna pay? So that's, that's what you would do if you're getting a new car. But if you don't need a new car, instead of that trade equity going to, to that new car, it could go on to a check that you walk right out with the dealership with. How can that be? It's not your car to sell. Well, where you have the power is you don't have to give the car to the dealership. So before you go, you know, you find out how, what's the process for you to purchase it, right? You can buy it and own it yourself. Does your leasing company offer lease extensions? So therefore, if you don't find the new car or you don't need one, you don't have to give this car back to the dealer and the dealer knows that. So the dealer, if they want your car bad enough, they can say, boom, We'll give you a check for $5,000, bring me the car. So you take them the car, you leave with the check. Now, a couple things to know before you go in, you should probably look up the market value of your current vehicle so you know how much equity it has. You know, you can go to Carfax, you can go to CarMax online, Carvana, Vroom, any of those online companies and just get a quote, see how much they, they, they value the car at. Um, what's important to know also is you can't expect the dealership to give you the full amount of equity. So if your car has $10,000 of equity, you're not gonna walk out of the dealership with a $10,000 check, right? Because the dealership needs to resell that car and make a profit. So they're gonna offer you something down the middle, right? Maybe around $5,000. If you had 10,000 equity is probably something fair to expect. About half, the dealer will split the value with you. That way they can put that used car right on their used car lot, mark it up that other five and make the five grand back themselves. So they give you five, they make five, everybody wins, they're happy. Boom, simple, easy. So it can definitely be done. You can't expect to get the full equity, but I would not just hand a lease car back to a dealership right now. Even if I didn't need a car, I'd call around. If they have multiple same dealer, like manufacturer in your city, call multiple ones, see who's hurting the most for cars and who's willing to pay you the most. You know, you can definitely, definitely sell your car back to the dealership and walk away with a check. So if that helped anybody, my name's Adam. Like I said, I'm the lease guy. Please hit, hit, hit subscribe. Please, please comment. Please ask questions. I'm here to help. Um, I'll be back with more information. Thank you guys.